How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Yazi Family Vlogs. Today, I thought I'd try something a little bit different just to um, get rid of these potatoes before they start getting old. So, uh, I figured I'd try a baked potato. You know, what if I do like, um, you know how a lot of natives, they have their comfort food, potatoes and Spam, potatoes and ground beef, potatoes and hot dogs, potatoes and steak meat or whatever they do. But um, you know how this one, not this one, but everyone loves Spam. So I figured, let me try baked potato and then add Spam to it. Um, kind of like a baked potato type bar thing, but um, I'm not going to do the ground beef and everything just because I'm the only one that's going to be eating potatoes. So maybe I try this um, baked potato with Spam and I wanted to see maybe how it would come out, maybe how it would taste and you know, I never had baked potatoes with the Spam topping or potatoes mixed in. You know, like a res res style. You know, when we think of baked potato, all we think of is uh, chives, cheese, sour cream. That's it, you know. And then it's like, it's how you eat your baked potato. But I have never had this as a topping with Spam. So I want to try it out. I want to see how it tastes. I wonder... <clears throat> Well, I'm sure it tastes like some breakfast burrito vendors. You know how you buy a breakfast burrito? And the potatoes are so mushy. It's like they water it down. And they have Spam in there. And it's just like eating um, a mashed potato burrito. <laughs> Sorry, but I just don't like my breakfast burritos that way. I don't, I don't like it mixed with water and just mashed down. But I thought I'd try this. But it is... Um, pretty warm in the apartment so I'm just gonna microwave these so I'm gonna do 10 minutes for the baked potato I'm gonna just do the microwave I'm gonna fry the spam I think I have some onions maybe I'll add the onions on there and then uh we'll see how I dress this up so, so let's make these potatoes right here So the potatoes are going to go in, they're both in there, um, I do have a baked potato bun, let me try two, oops, and I think six minutes is See. Baked potato. Let's try four. I think I just kind of feel like this is the right cooking time. But um, I'll check it halfway and then turn and flip it over. And then we'll see the texture of that baked potato. But for now, we'll, let's just guess 13 minutes. There it goes. So I do have some onions, I have some more in the fridge, but... Uh, so how much I'm going to use. Dude. 
few pieces of spam. Should be good for a couple of uh, potatoes. We're at the six minute mark for the baked potato. So let's get this going. We got like four minutes left, three minutes left on our baked potato. So now I have a little bit of olive oil. I'm still trying to think in my head, what am I gonna add? What am I gonna put in here? So I'll let this heat up and then we'll put our food in there, our spam and our onions. So I got the oil heated up. <clears throat> Let's add this in. Potatoes are still going. I guess it's up to you for whatever seasoning you guys want to add. But uh, I'm going to add some black pepper to it. I'm going to add some garlic powder to it too. And I'm gonna add some time. Can you tell that I just have so much seasoning in my cabinet? You move one over, one will fall out. I wonder if this will be good if yours in a food truck. This food item that we're trying to do right here. Put it on a food truck and a filled cell. So I'm going to let this cook for a couple more minutes and then we'll see what we'll do with it. Spam's coming out good. <clears throat> it's being fried well. And I was, as I was cooking that, I was trying to think, how should I make the topping? And then I thought of this, so. Let's see if. Let's add some more black pepper. I'll use this one this time.
Yeah, a little bit more water. So I just end up doing a flour and water to make that spam gravy. You know how you guys make the spam gravy with potatoes? A lot of people used to make that for um, for breakfast. So since we're doing it this way, let's, uh, let me look for something real quick. Something really quick. Let me do some pars parsley. And some cayenne. I can smell the chili already. Let me add a little bit more water. The potatoes are done also. The gravy turned color from the cayenne pepper and the black. Probably most likely with a black pepper. Ah, uh, it smells hot. I can already smell the heat. I smell the heat. <clears throat> so, let's... Try to plate this thing. Turn it off. Move you guys right here. It's up to you guys, I guess, if you want to add butter, but <clears throat> I think I'll just keep it this way. the butter Baked potato, spam and onion version. So instead of uh, pan frying the potatoes, let's try it baked. I'm hungry, I can smell the chili though. It's up to you if you want to add the cayenne pepper or not, but man, I can smell the chili already. I did add some salt on there. <clears throat> Oh, 
hopefully you guys don't fall. Okay, let's leave right on. Let's try this out. Holy wow. Ooh, I can taste that spice though. Oh man, the baked potato version. Mmm. Man, this is good. <clears throat> I think all in all, this took like 15 minutes the most. But I'm glad I chose to do it a gravy style. I never had it this way. But I will be, for sure I'll be doing this. For sure, I'll be doing this more often. <clears throat> and then it's up to you guys, like, um, if you do make it in the oven, <clears throat> since I just wanted to try it out, see how this would taste. For those of you guys that like the skin, oil, salt, poke some holes in there. Wrap it in foil, put it in the oven, maybe, I don't know what's the average time, a baked potato, like 35 to 45 minutes. Where I just did baked potato and it might go away really quick. chubby cat on the window but <clears throat> it's really good I like it this would be something unique to sell at a flea market or on a food truck Somebody ends up selling it before me. <clears throat> you must give me a free one. But if I was to sell it <clears throat> just like this, I do two big potatoes for with this gravy version, maybe six dollars. Pepper's hot. Sorry, guys, I got a sore throat. I got a sore throat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I hope you guys do try it. Really quick, really simple. A lot faster than 
peeling and cutting potatoes, especially if, <clears throat> you know, you're tired from work and you're like, oh, what do I make? I don't want to peel potatoes. Just make it this way. Guarantee if I like it, you're going to like it. I don't rate anything just to tell you guys to eat it. If I if I don't like it, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. And I don't know what else you guys can add. Maybe instead of the cayenne, add green chili to your gravy. But this is just to help open your mind, have fun with cooking. Try something out. If you like cooking, you're always gonna have fun with it, you know? Try new ways and maybe your family will like it. I'm telling you, I sure do like this. And I thank you guys for watching for this little quick video. And then um, I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.